It is my honor to be invited by TEDx Bangalore to share my insights on a topic that is integral to us at the Chiara Academy of Performing Arts, community, creativity, and the impact of choral music. I'm reminded as a music teacher of Maria Von Trapp's iconic song, Do Re Mi, from the musical, The Sound of Music, where she says that it's a good thing to start at the very beginning. It's the very good place to start. And so I shall. What defines community? For me personally, my experience of community originated in the core experience of family. Join me now on a little journey back in time to the late 1960s, early 1970s. Imagine a small living room in a very modest middle-class home where a family resides. Parents and their four children aged 5 to 18 years. That modest little home boasted two treasures a bush radio, and an HMV turntable. Does anyone remember those? Not likely. You look like a very young audience. Well, these were the sole providers of entertainment in our family. Every evening, we would gather around the radio, and we listened to a Western music program called The Choice of the People, which aired on Radio Salon. And it gave us tremendous joy to hear our requested songs played on air. Alternatively, my father would take on the role of resident disc jockey and he would spin a selection of vinyl records ranging from big band jazz to rock and even pop. But the best evenings of all were when my mother would pick up her mandolin and we would have a family sing-song. My mother encouraged us as children not to settle for mere melody, but to learn to sing in harmony with each other. So we formed a little quintet. My sister and I would sing the main melody. My brothers would sing a higher voice called tenor and my mother would add her own very beautiful lower voice called the alto. These sessions, as you can imagine, provided very, very valuable opportunities for bonding. And we grew through this experience of harmonizing and making music with each other. Reflecting on these memories, three things stand out starkly to me. The first is what is the essence of communication. And I realize that within that small living room and in that tiny community of our family, I unknowingly grasped the essence of communication, to send and to receive, to listen and also to respond. The second thing I realized on reflecting on these scenes from our, our little simple family history is that today there is an alarming decline of genuine face-to-face -face communication. And this has resulted in what? The diminishing value of community. Thirdly, it is within this context that I would like to present what I do which is to teach choral harmony as a powerful symbol of the harmony we are actually craving in our day-to-day -day lives. Choral harmony by its very nature demands the coming together of individuals from diverse backgrounds, differing personalities, varying vocal tones and voices. In short, it demands a community and harmonious communication. So again, what is community? 
we believe in Kiara that through the teaching of choral music, we can provide and create these wellsprings of social and communal concord, which can contribute very meaningfully to society as we see it today, so much fractured, so much in need of interpersonal connect. What is community for me then? It originated, as I told you, in my family, and it moved and, be and grew and culminated in Kiara, where we strive through choral music to create harmony and meaningful contribution to society. Moving on now to the second part of my talk, which is about creativity. Let's explore the realm of creativity with a charming little story from our Kiara files. It is the year 2006, and I have just established Kiara. A young Kiara student, Jonathan, visited a chapel along with his parents. While his parents were praying inside, little Jonathan wandered off into the garden and found solace under a towering Christmas tree. When his parents came out, his mother asked him, what are you doing sitting under that tree? And with all the impish humor of a four-year-old going on five, Jonathan replied, I am a present. I hear a murmur of amusement from you. But this little story beautifully captures the essence of creativity. It reveals the truth that within each individual lies an, a world of imagination and artistic brilliance just waiting to be uncovered. Jonathan's own journey has exemplified this very early learning of himself as a gift, as a present. That's Jonathan. He started out as just one little four-year-old voice in the chorus line, and as he grew, he became one of the leading members of the dance team, began to play lead roles in almost all the musical productions that we staged. And last year, he even assumed the role of student director and independently oversaw the creation and the staging of a very challenging medley from the Broadway hit musical Hamilton. Have any of you heard of Hamilton? Ah, oh, good. Okay. So Jonathan reached that level last year and we just gave him his head and he pulled off this amazing musical. Like Jonathan though, there are many other stories that I can tell you, but for the want of time, of other Kiara students who have also transitioned from being singers in the chorus line, into dancers, into choreographers, into actors, sound engineers, sound editors, videographers, and video editors. And I'm very proud to tell you today that these children make up Kiara as an independent production house in its own right. Everything done by them. As we reflect on community and creativity, I just want to end by saying that choral music has powerful impact. And this is what we try to do in Kiara. We try to empower our children to find within themselves their hidden light and to shine brightly and contribute meaningfully to society. You might wonder at the meaning of the, of the name Chiara. It originates from the Italian word chiaro, which means light. And this is our mission at Chiara, to empower our children to find their light and to let that light shine brilliantly in society and the world. I now invite you to witness this very process with a small performance 
by our junior and intermediate students of the Chiara Academy of Performing Arts. Thank you. Fighting 